For a bake sale, volunteers made the number of cookies shown in the table. Which members made the same number of cookies? We need to begin by evaluating the expressions that give the number of cookies. Notice LeBron made 8 squared or 8 raised to the second power cookies because the exponent is 2 and the base is 8. 8 squared is equal to 2 factors of 8 or 8 times 8 which is equal to 64. We now know LeBron made 64 cookies. Venus made 3 raised to the power of 4 cookies because the exponent is 4 and the base is 3. 3 to the 4th is equal to 4 factors of 3 which is equal to 9 times 9 or 81. Venus made 81 cookies. Next, Serena made 3 times 4 cookies. Well, 3 times 4 is just 12. Serena made 12 cookies. And then finally, Lewis made 4 raised to the power of 3 cookies, or 4 cubed cookies, because the exponent is 3 and the base is 4. 4 to the 3rd is equal to 3 factors of 4. 4 times 4 times 4 is equal to 64. Notice both LeBron and Lewis made 64 cookies, which means LeBron and Lewis made the same number of cookies. And now for the second part of the question, the teacher made the same amount of cookies as the two students who made the same number of cookies. And because both LeBron and Lewis made 64 cookies, so did the teacher. Express this number as a power of 2, which means you want to write 64 in exponential form with a base of 2. Let's first do this by determining the prime factorization of 64. 64 is equal to 8 times 8, and 8 is equal to 4 times 2 here and here, and we know 2 is prime and 4 is equal to 2 times 2, again where 2 is prime. So notice how 64 is equal to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 factors of 2. So if 64 is equal to 6 factors of 2 in exponential form, the base is 2 and the exponent is 6. Let's also look at this another way. We know 8 squared is equal to 64, Let's show 8 squared equals 2 to the 6th. If we begin with 8 squared, the prime factorization of 8 is equal to 3 factors of 2. We can write this as 2 times 2 times 2 in parentheses raised to the second power. And because the exponent is 2, we have 2 factors of the base, which is 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2, which notice is also equal to 2 to the 6th. Let's also show 4 to the 3rd, which we know is equal to 64, is also equal to 2 to the 6th. If we begin with 4 cubed, or 4 to the 3rd power, the prime factorization of 4 is 2 times 2. We can write this as 2 times 2 in parentheses, raised to the 3rd power. Because the exponent is 3, we have 3 factors of the base, which is 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2, and once again, Notice how we do have six factors of two, showing that four to the third, which we know is equal to 64, is also equal to two to the sixth. So the answer for this last part is two to the sixth. I hope you found this helpful.